get rich quick guy here. I am building a roto casting machine, and I actually got the idea thanks to Carl from AccurizedHunterParts.com. Here's the inner frame of the roto cast machine. When you angle the uh, table saw, you have to make sure to follow where the tip of the blade is and and which line it comes down as you can see I marked where it is that is the line it will cut uh, this angle so however long you want it from one side to the other it has to be uh, like for my case it's 30 inches so uh, I have 30 inches from this side all the way to the other side okay so I'm gonna put these L brackets on right there so um, this is where I cut the 45 degree angle and before I uh, used Gorilla Glue I screwed these guys in on both sides so that when I slide in the piece of wood it'll hold it and compress it. I, I also drove screws through the diagonals. Okay so I put a Lazy Susan right in the center of the frame with a little spacer. There you can see the spacer. I just kind of put the screws in diagonally on the bottom there. I'm going to uh, drill a circle here, or, or drill a hole through here. That's the cool thing about the Lazy Susan is that it gives you a nice centered axis, but you can put stuff through the center like the, the slip ring. Here is the uh, slip ring, the wire on this side stays in one place and this thing can turn. I got this from hurricanewindpower.com. This is what allows me to have that second motor rotate and uh, still be connected to the rotocaster. There's the actual part number 3M as in Mary 104. It's the gear motor AC 6.3 RPM. I got two of them. And so that brought the total to 206. So here is the flexible axle which drives the inner frame. Okay, and here is the drive paddle, I guess. But I, I welded a, a square tube, or I welded two pieces of bar stock onto a square tube. And that's where this universal joint fits. Fits pretty snug in here. Okay, so uh, once again, this is a shaded pole motor, so it, it doesn't need any capacitors. So the next thing that I did is I just put the uh, slip ring through this hole. This is the, the, the part that's stationary, and then I screwed that in like that. So, and then this will continue down the frame down here all the way to the motor that spins the inner frame. I have these toggle clamps from Harbor Freight. Um, you, just, you can see the toggle clamp kind of goes like this. And what I have is, uh, I'll just show you a, a random piece of wood, but basically to make the legs, um, I have the toggle clamp kind of holding a piece of wood. So, um, I'll just push it down like that and then it'll it'll act as the leg that way it doesn't take up too much floor space and I can move it out of the way 